All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, let me give all praises to you. How about how shy, but Hashem, Rechakorash, the bonus to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wa'akwakim, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. All right, this is going to be another uh, video for the spirit. And for this one, I was listening to the brother from uh, the brother Michael Allah from GMS Inspiration and Motivation. The video it says, What manner of men ought you to be? It's about an hour long. I'll leave the link in which he had got his in inspiration for that video from the video that Elder Apostle Tahar did on the GMS Doc YouTube channel. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it. I mean, I'm scrolling for it right now. You know what, we'll just do this to make it easier on ourselves. The video he had did titled, We Will All Be Tested Soon. All right, and that's very true. Because the closer we get to the end, you know, the closer we get to the mark of the beast being instituted. And therefore, you know, we're going to be kicked out of society. You know, Lord willing, the spirit stays on us to not take it. We're going to be ostracized. All right. There will be some days that you'll be hungry. There'll be some days that, you know, hey, some brothers may be out and about roaming. Some brothers may get kidnapped and <laughs> killed and tortured the first daggone week. You know, however the hell it goes down. But right now, you know, because I, I was just sitting back, you know, I, I'll say here recently the Lord has, you know, from getting a new job, has put me in a better living situation. You know, things have, uh, you know, ultimately we're still under these curses, but the Lord has been giving me a little elbow room in this bitch, you know, and I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, damn, man, is the Lord buttering me up because he's about to whack me? You know, I was, I'm like, damn, is, I'm like, damn, chick. You know, kind of going easy, kind of going down easy street, you know, then a summer happen and then you'll get glad. All right. So basically, hey, the little everything that is happening is is a test. All right. Is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai grooming us for what is to come? The days that you have that are good days, the Lord is just giving you some slack and relief. All right. And you got to realize that, you know, hey, some niggas are. You know, certain people who are no longer with us, the Lord straight up uh, <laughs> was making changes in their lives to get them out the way. All right, there was one dude, uh, he no longer with us. You know, he started losing all this weight and getting in shape, you know, just for the Lord to kick his, kick his ass out the camp. All right, but the things that happened to us, ultimately, everything that's been happen to, happening to you since you were a child was your grooming period, all right, to get you ready for the days to come all right let's get this right quick con this right here isaiah 45 and 9 it says woe unto him that striveth with his maker let the potsherd strive with the potsherds of the earth shall the clay say to him that fashion it what makest thou or thy work uh he hath no hands Woe unto him that saith unto his father, What begottest thou? Or to the woman, What hast thou brought forth? Con, so us being the creatures that were created, we don't have the ability or the authority to question the Heavenly Father of what he's doing with his creatures down here in this world. All right, so the best that we can simply do is pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and hope that we are instruments that are created. For righteousness all right we we can just pray that we are simply uh, a door instead of a toilet <laughs> all right a spoon instead of a back scratcher all right a a, a uh, soap you know hand wash rather than toilet paper all right hey, you know hey the Lord is getting us ready he's putting you through instances whether you like it or not they're gonna that are going to Lord will and make you a better man to handle what is coming all right so you may lose out on let's say your baby mama and children you may lose out on a uh, on a housing arrangement that used to be sweet you know now you got to go shack up with brothers the Lord is molding us however he sees fit all right and he's been doing it since we were children you know and that's one of the things that uh, I was taken away from those two videos everything that happens and is happening to you is for a reason so when bad things happen the Heavenly Father is just hey, getting them impurities out of you and when something so-called good is happening to you the Lord is hey, give, 
giving you just enough air to breathe, keeping your head just above water. All right. Nevertheless, hey, we can't argue with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. There's another one, as a matter of fact. Kind of another one. Romans 9 and. Yep. Perfect. Romans 9 and 22. All right. Hey, this is all test, y'all. We were all. Your whole life, everything that you went to, went through, all right, from whatever point you came into the truth, you were born to be doing this now. You weren't born to go on and have that career playing fucking soccer. You weren't born to go on to be a rapper. Everything that you went through, all right, all the, 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 the abandonment you may have gone through, the fucking ass whoopings, all right, losing out on money, you know, moving, just all the things that have happened to you that you may perceive as negative, it's all preparing us for the times to come, all right, the scriptures that I may have to get it, the second address, you know, it tells you we're going to have to be uh, as pilgrims upon the earth when this shit starts popping off, however the spirit has us moving about, all right, me personally, something I've dealt uh, a lot with is moving, all right, I'm living here in Michigan, being in this truth now, this is the longest I've been inside of one state since I was fucking born, you know, from day one, we stayed on the move, you know, my, my, parents my grandparents some shit will go down in a city and we have to get the fuck on all right i literally you know i remember being with my mom we uh was on the run from one of her exes you know so everything that's ever happened to you you have to look at it as a look at it as just a way of making you ready for the day of battle all right so when you go through some hell don't you know oh, lord man oh, man lord why are you doing me hey we can't have that spirit Everything is happening to strengthen us for what is to come. All right, Romans 9 and 20. It says, Nay, but, O oh man, who art thou that replies against the Most High Power? So who are you to, to say to, to challenge the Heavenly Father? It says, Shall the thing form, formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Hath not the potter power over the clay, or the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? All right. So who are we to say to the Heavenly Father, man, Lord, why you let that happen to me in my life? Why you let Shardika leave me? <laughs> you know I love the Shardika big booty. <laughs> Lord, how come uh, 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 Shardika put me on child support? Lord, how come I'm only 5'8"? Lord, how come uh, uh, when I was 5, you know, you let me trip and bust my ankle. Now I'm walking around with a limp. We can't have that type of spirit. All right. The Heavenly Father did whatever he wanted to all right hey, hey, and, and it tells you in this verse 21 some vessels are made unto honor and some to dishonor so hey the elect and the one third they're going through all of this hell and suffering to be eventually made a pure clean vessel of honor all right while the wicked they go through their shit to be a vessel of dishonor all right then that's why you'll have people that are no longer in the camp hey they was catching hell because they're bugged the fuck out and they're wicked and the lord hated them that's why they was catching hell in contrast you have other brothers catching hell in the camp that are going to go on to be the elect the heavenly father was allowing you to catch hell to make you pure all right hey the heavenly father may even present you with instances of glory to show you what what the other side could have been all right and what i mean by that uh, and I'm going to have to come back to this. We're going to go to Matthew chapter 4. All right. When you had Satan, he came to Yahweh Shah and he, so, he said, look, this is what you could have if you come over here and sell out to me. All right. But did our, what did Yahweh Shah say? All right. What did he do? Let me get this. Uh, it's either the one in Luke or Matthew. I believe it's the one in Matthew, but I'm looking for a specific word. Okay, we'll go to the one in Luke. Luke uh, 4, and I'll start at verse 5. It says, And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. So Yahushua was showed everything. He was showed from his time up till now, everything that was ever going to happen. Uh, it says, And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee in the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Yahushua answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. So the Heavenly Father may use Satan. All right, he may uh, start allowing big and good things to happen in your life to show you now, look, which one are you going to choose? Do you want to choose? Are you going to choose 
Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, or are you going to go along with Satan? And you have to remember that as well. Uh, on the flip side of catching hell, you got to make sure not, or not make sure, but you have to be wary of too much goodness and too much greatness, which is something, you know, just me personally right now, you know, I'm looking around left and right. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm like, alright, I can see the smoke. <laughs> I can see the smoke in this bitch, you know. Where do you at, Satan? You know, I'm waiting on you to pop out. Alright. You, you know, you thought you had me going for a minute. Alright, hey, that's the flip side of it. You can't get too much too much caught up in all the good that's going on here because right when you know you fucking fuck around and give yourself to Satan, for all we know, the very next day the, the daggone economy could collapse. You know, so like yeah, let me knock this uh volume all right but the very next day for all you know the daggone colon the economy could collapse so here it is you know you was in the last days and times almost made it to the end and you go and, and and sell out not realizing the destruction that was coming right the very next day all right so you also have to be wary of that other side all right it's it's all tests Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has been proving and reproving his men all this time and we're getting so close to the end we just have a couple more tests to get through y'all and we home all right let's get this we'll come back to that romans all right romans 9 and 22 it says what if the most high power willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction so this tells you that the heavenly father has been waiting things out for a long time so hey he's been letting niggas get wicked and and strive let niggas like choke on the blunt davis go chase satan and join satan in his kingdom and start getting money you know hanging with them people living that life you got niggas like uh he's no longer with us tazadakia who was just doing the congregation wrong and greasy and was living it up and was millions Y'all seen that video like I seen that video. He stepped out to that club. Uh, he's stepping out in the club. That damn uh, Akon song is playing. We taking over uh, one city at a time. This nigga stepped out in the club. Hoes gyrating on him. Nigga got a do-rag on. All right. That's the Heavenly Father being long-suffering for those vessels that are fitted uh, for vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. The Heavenly Father was padding them along until it's time to crack their ass. All right. So we don't want to be like that. We don't want to give in to Satan, all right, when these many different tests come. And that main test is going to be the mark of the beast, the hour of temptation as told to us in the book of Revelation, all right? Verse 23, right here it says, And that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he had, prepared, which he had afore prepared unto glory, all right? So those vessel, the vessels of honor, they're go, they're being prepared for mercy, which was prepared aforetime. All right. So everything you went through, even before you knew you were an Israelite, even before you came into the truth, the Heavenly Father had you going through things to get your mindset ready for the times that are coming now, to get you ready to accept the truth, to start believing in it, to go hard for it, and to be saved. All right. You want to know why? Uh, 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 you used to get picked on a lot in school is so that you could have tough skin now so that when you're out there on them highways and byways you don't give a fuck when people looking at you crazy you look crazy back at their ass and you keep going with the program all right you want to know why you had troubles with with the ladies so that when you came into this truth you wouldn't be too distracted with them now that you have to push this gospel all right the heavenly father prepared us a four time for this this is all tests, left and right, left and right, left and right, until we get to the big final one. All right, and all we have to do is what we've been doing through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is pass some tests, and we're going to be good. All right, and we're going to be good. Lord willing, ride this bitch out, y'all. That's all we got to do. It's just uh, the, all this, all these things that we're looking at is simply tests. Hey, we're going to, and you know what, I'll get this one. Uh, I'll get this one. All right, and concerning this final test, because now so all hey, all these tests we haven't done the best on, you know. Hey, a certain hey, I myself, there's been certain times, and you know, I, I'll admit it on camera. I've completely, I completely forgot it was the Sabbath, you know. And I went to the gym, you know, was it was halfway through. I look up, I'm like, what the fuck, you know? I'm like, damn, I got you know, start packing up, <laughs> take that long, quiet drive home, you know praying for forgiveness and, and and shaking your head all right 
But the difference between the righteous and the wicked, this right here, Proverbs 24, 16, it says, for a just man fall seven times. So the righteous, hey, there's going to be instances in which you do slip, in which you do fall. King David slipped and fell. King Solomon slipped and fell. All right. But ultimately says what? And riseth up again. All right. So the righteous, they may fall, but they're going to get back up on the horse. All right. It says, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. All right, so that's going to be the determining factor. Hey, you know what's crazy? A righteous man, from now up until we get up out of here, could keep fucking up, fucking up, left and right, fucking up, get back up, fucking up, get back up. But when that final test comes, the mark of the beast, they'll pass and be saved. When you can have the wicked who, hey, and that's like that Ezekiel, what is that, that 36 and, uh, uh, and 18, where it says, what, in the day of his wickedness, all of a man's, all of a righteous man's, Righteousness shall not save him, and a wicked man, in the day of his righteousness, all of his wickedness will be forgiven, and it won't be held against him. All right, so here it is. You can have a nigga who's been A1, you know, on point the whole time, you know, inwardly been a, been a demon, and no one realized it. And when the mark of the beast comes, they give in and fold, all right? That's when the wicked shall fall into mischief, but the righteous rises up again, all right, and will be saved, all right? You know, so that's that's it. Just a real quick uh, video I wanted to do. You know, hey, all, all this, y'all, has been preparation from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? And if, if there's one test you need to pass, if there's any test you need to pass, like how it was that, that, that damn big test you got to take before summer so your stupid ass wouldn't repeat in the same game, <laughs> great. All right, this is that test that we, ju we just got to pass it, you know, and we home free. We home free. We almost out this mug. All right. We will be tested here very soon. The hour of temptation. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakha Korash, to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like Akim. Walk with them, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. And I'm going to say Shalom.